everybody, this is Patrick Valentine, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Shield. Oh yeah! Last time we began our new adventure in Galar, well our second adventure in, in Galar, and yes, I just caught myself an Ericuda. Yep, I went back into the fishing area, because I wanted to see if I could find something other than a Magikarp, and yes, I got this guy, Ericuda! And yes, I got this guy, Ericuda. I remember seeing one. I remember, I, I remember, I remember you, Ericuda. So, I've already chosen my water type, which is going to be Toodle. But I'll definitely keep this guy in the team. I'll definitely keep him around. Just in case. If, um... I'll keep Ericuda around just in case if Dreadnought doesn't turn out to be as good as uh, as I hoped. Because I did want to use it. So Ericuda will be my backup water type if um, Dreadnought doesn't pull its weight, so to speak. Alright, so this is the this is the alt, this is our professor. So this is where we're gonna learn about the Dynamaxing phenomenon. So we're just going to skip through all of this. So what are you guys most so excited about for Scarlet and Violet? I don't know if I've got any uh, Pokemon fans who follow this channel. People that like Pokemon that follow this channel. But I'm very much looking forward to Scarlet and Violet. I'm very much excited for them. The three trailers that I've seen for the games so far have already convinced me. That I think these games that, that that these games are going to be really really fun. All right, so back here is TM Payback. It's not a very good TM, but it's it's not a very good move, but it's good to have it. All right, all right. Well, don't don't rush me, Hop. Well good, well, good thing I decided to get that Ericuda before I decided to do this. Alright. Let's crush you. Let's crush you again, Pop. We're going to be doing our second battle with Hop. Man, we have a lot of battles with Hop. I do remember that. So, so yeah, this video... So, yeah, I'm recording this right after I recorded the first part. So, I mean, hell, record as many parts as I can. Oh, almost two, almost two shot in it. That's how I did my Pokemon Sword playthrough, just do as many parts as I can. I'm just trying to make sure that my um, thing is center, because sometimes it looks a bit out of place. Alright, a bunch of level ups! You know what, let's give... Ooh, Zigzagoon found me a super potion, nice. You know, let's give someone else some battles. Let's give someone else some screen time. School Bunny, you can take a rest. Go! Rookity! Oh, and you just brought out your starter. Okay, well... Alright, well, my bird... Well, my well, my tiny little pigeon... My tiny little pigeon will destroy you. I know, I know a lot more. I know everything. I know everything about Pokemon, Hop. Wow. <laughs> this this guy using a grass type move on a flying type. This man using a grass type move on a flying type. What the hell? What the what the hell? Pop. Oh. 
Rookie D! I thought he had a Rookie D! I thought he had a Rookie D! I remember he had three Pokemon. Alright, Yampa. It'll be a close one. It's not a close one at all, Hop. It's not a close one at all, Hop. I'm literally destroying you. And this guy just used a flying type move on an electric type. That's that, that that's clever. And now you are paralyzed. I was slower than it, but now I'm faster because I paralyzed it. Nuzzle! Nuzzle again, Yampa! Goodbye! 3 0 you! D level 10. Beautiful! Gutted that I lost. Gutted. Yeah, that is the that is the uh, pommy, that's the pommy language right there. That's the pommy language right there. Gutted! Wow, really, Leon? I completely destroyed your brother. I destroyed your brother and you give us both endorsements? I mean, of course you're going to give Hop one, out of pity. Because he's your baby brother. And... I think that's one of the Dyna... I think the Dynamax stuff... Or, uh, the Dynamax rings. Wishing Star, yeah. I forgot what they were called. Because they're called wishing stars doesn't mean they'll make a wish come true. Ah, Hop is such a silly. Hop is so silly. And I think that's the last time we'll ever. Ever will, I think that's the last time we'll ever sleep throughout this story. Like, we've had a few rest periods, but from this point on, it's adventuring to the end. And there's our Dynamax band. Up ah, on the Wishing Star. Alright, so now we are ready and we're going to be going off to enroll. For the gym challenge. Oh, you got some advice, huh? Yeah, you can whistle at Pokemon and all that. Yeah, I'm very well aware of that, Hop, but, you know, thanks for the advice. Alright, I gotta remember I gotta remember to go around the girl because I chose not to battle her. Actually, you know what? Come here, Nicket. I will catch one. I will catch one for the road. I am very confident Zigzagoon will pull its weight. But I will just catch this as a, a, a just like with Aracuda, this can be my backup dark type. Still 100% caught every Pokemon I have attempted to catch. 
still have not failed a single Pokemon I've tried to catch so far. I do reckon that'll fail eventually. But, there we go. <laughs> the Tootle's trying to trying to chase me, that's so cute. That 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 was so cute seeing that Tootle try to try to chase me. I didn't catch that nicket that I saw before, I would have caught this one. But that's fine. But that's fine. Alright, so we're back to Wedgehurst. Oh wait, we're going to the um We're going to the train station. Do I am I am I forced into doing the um slowpoke thing? Or is it because this is the main story? It won't. It won't do it. I really hope not, because I would really hate that I'd have to do the slowpoke. Because the slowpoke, I think the slowpoke would destroy me. All right. Look at that. Look at that team. That's gonna be a championship team right there. Well, the Ericuda won't be. The Ericuda, maybe. Now this is a championship team. I'm hoping for it. I'm hoping I can replace Ericuda eventually, maybe with like a with like a good Pokemon. I really hope I don't have to do the slow poke thing. Okay, thank goodness. Okay. Thank goodness, I don't have to do this slow poke thing. I was kind of worried for a second there. But yes, I'll do the slow poke, uh, because there's a slow poke event that happens, um, because there's a slow poke event that happens when you're about to go to one of the, uh, when you're about to go to the Island of Armor. Yeah, when you're about to set out to the Island of Armor, there'll be like a little slow poke event. I will do that. I will, I, I will do that. Um, when we get to doing the Island of Armor. Monostoke is surrounded by the vast wild area. area is such a wild area didn't boom tish I know I know I'm so bad at jokes oh man I love the wild area one of the one of, I definitely think the wild area is one of the coolest places in the coolest places It's it's a de it's a definite good place to train if you want to train up your Pokemon, definitely. But just stay away from the really powerful Pokemon. I'm just clicking yes on everything. I don't really care. I love this idea. This idea was so cool. Just opening up my poke, opening up my box at any time. I love that so much. Such a great idea. Alrighty, oh. Should we do? Should we do maybe at least one round of Dynamaxing? Maybe. Oh, there's a nice type. Oh. I want to stay away from the Onyx. I'll 
be. I'm going to stay away from the... Um, I'm kind of tempted to try and go for a Vanillix. Wait, did I just hear an Abra? Oh, those are Metapods. I was trying to figure out what the heck those were. Those are Metapods. I thought it was Abra's Cry I heard. Oh, that's, um, Tempole. Uh, Alright, get, right, get away from me. Ah, oh, Kingla! Oh, get away from me. Right. Tempole would be a good, would be another good water type. Gyarados. Wingle. Crab. Crab. Man, there's a lot of water types. Wumpa. Whoa. Ah, get away from the Quacksire. Okay, we want to stay away from the stronger Pokemon. Type. But I've already got a dark type. Ah oh, man, I've already got a dark type. Panchum evolves has to evolve with a dark type in Wait! I've got a dark type in my team. So does that mean it would it would immediately evolve into Pangoro? Because I think it evolves with a dark type in your team. You know what, I'm gonna try it. This is probably gonna backfire horribly. This is probably gonna backfire horribly, but... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah, I think this is gonna backfire very, very horribly. Okay, please. Oh my... No way! It hit me five times? Oh my god. God, I knew this would backfire. Ah. The first faint of the game. My first faint of the my first faint of this playthrough. Damn it, I knew this was gonna backfire horribly. I should have stayed away. Oh, now you want to taunt me after destroying my fire type? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to catch you anymore. But yes, I'm pretty sure you can evolve Pancham when you have a fire type in your team. Uh, when you have a dark type in your team. So, because I've got a dark type in my party, if I caught it, it should immediately evolve into Pangora. Man, imagine that! Man, man, imagine having a level 13 Pangoro! <laughs> imagine that! Imagine having a level 13 Pangoro. That would be kind of insane. What have you got? Oh, you've got... I don't have any watts, but you've got freaking quick balls. That would be, that would be awesome, man. Oh, Oddish should be a good grass type. 
But I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to go on with the adventure. Man, those are really... Those are, those, that's a lot of steps. I would hate climbing those kinds of steps. Motor stop. This game's so good. I'm so glad I decided to play this again. Sonia, not now! I need a heal! Oh well, at least you're, at least you're going into the Pokemon Center with me. there but her mouth wasn't even moving. That's creepy. Alright, what have you got? Pokeballs. Oh, you've got revives, but I don't really want revives. What have you got? Oh, you've got some more. Oh, you got some different Pokeballs. Uh, I don't really want those. Alright! That is all my team all healed up. Really need my I need, really need my score bunny in fighting shape. I think poor old Ericuda is gonna fall behind, but I'll, I'll keep him. I'll keep it. I'll keep him around. I'll keep Ericuda around. Remember, as I said, he's my. God damn it! God damn it, Sonia! Oh man, this is the thing I hate. This is the thing I hate about early games. That's what I hate about early games. There's just so much dialogue. But as I said, Eric Huda was my um my backup in case if Dreadnought fell behind. Well, thanks to that, Leon, you basically gave me an item that helps my score bunny. Why would you do that? I know you're a nice guy and all, but you're basically helping the guy that's going to dethrone you. You're basically giving a huge advantage to the person that's going to dethrone him. Alright, my Zigzagoon's got a super potion. Put that in my bag. Oh yes, that's oh yes, that's another reason why I really liked the Zigzagoon, because his ability was pick up and he could just pick up items for me. Like any hidden items on the ground, like if there's any hidden items on the ground, he can just pick them up for me. Alright, so yeah, there's a lot of dialogue here guys, and I really do apologize. Twenty-four minutes. Holy shit! Really? Twenty-four we're already twenty-four minutes in? Well, this is a good, well, anyway, I'm going to stop it here then. I'm just going to stop it, I'm going to stop it here. So, we're in the middle of the signing up, but we'll do the signing up, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go through the signing up process, and then we'll call it a video.
Yeah, so we'll quickly do this and then we will call it. Challenger endorsed by Leon, really? Well, what a surprise. So if you're wondering why I picked number six, is because number six is basically the number of my birth date. Anyway, so that's the end of this video. We've now we've now been we've now enrolled. We've now we've now enrolled. So that'll be all for today, and I will see you guys next time for more Pokemon Shield.